Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play Planet Zoo. My name is Chris, and this is episode 19 of Percy Zoo. In this episode, we finish up the doll sheep exhibit. Uh, we start off by creating this bridge to our uh, habitat entrances, habitat gates. I had some <laughs> serious creative, like, writer's block. Um, I guess it would be called writer's block. Builder's block? Um, <laughs> that doesn't sound much better either. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, you know, you know what I'm talking about. While I was designing this bridge, I, I cut out most of the build video. It just wasn't going the way I wanted it to. Um, I, I was trying a couple different ideas. The first idea I had was kind of continue this. Um, and you don't get to see it here, but the first idea I had was kind of continue the uh, those curved pieces. You know, kind of continue them around, make them a little bit longer. Kind of like a river effect. You know, kind of rolling. Uh, yeah, it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it. The next idea I had was I'll do some sort of like Native American themed you know like oh I've had a Thunderbird that would be cool um, yeah you can start seeing here the first attempt at it, um, making these kind of rolling out I couldn't quite get the angles right um, yeah it just it wasn't looking right um, at least it wasn't looking anything like I, I wanted it to um, and then, like I said, the next idea was try to create kind of like a skeletal structure of like a wing and then kind of color it, you know, kind of like a Thunderbird style. But then it's like, well, that doesn't really fit with anything else I've built in this area. I mean, I want a little bit of a transition. You know, I want the Arctic to feel different, but the same. Um, so I'm kind of creating, you know, using the same wood and metal here and now we just kind of jump over to the final or more or less the final idea so it's, it's going to be kind of this wooden structure uh, supported by these um, I don't know metal q-tips <laughs> that's what they look like they look like a metal q-tip um, what are they called new world sunshade copper post um, I guess you're supposed to put the, the sunshade piece on top of these they look like giant metal Q-tips, uh, but for this purpose, they serve, or for or for this one, they they serve a purpose of you know they have that little nub on the end that would act, kind of act like a cap to the uh, the structure here, and then you know kind of as an anchor point down below. So, so yeah, um, it's not the best bridge I've made. I still think it looks pretty... You saw a little bit there uh, as we just kind of panned out like the wing... the skeleton wing structure I was trying to make which I think if I would have gotten that to work it would have looked really cool but it was starting to just kind of look cheesy and lame. Yeah, there it is again. Um, we don't really have a whole lot of like metal pieces uh, which is really kind of what I wanted for... at least nothing in, uh, along the lines of like the metal... So we have like these wood beams here, um, and they have a nice kind of texture to them, nice kind of look and feel, um, and they kind of blend in when you need them to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than what they, uh, you know, the two meter, four meter, eight meter sizes that were given by default. But for the metal pieces, we just kind of have uh, a lot of these generic are not really generic, but all these kind of, for a specific purpose, we don't have generic versions. Um, so you kind of have to get a little bit more creative and a little bit, they don't really blend as well. Like if I wanted, for like these Q-tip ones, um, <laughs> I think they're like four meters or something like that. Um, so you can flip them on their side and get eight meters, you know, anywhere between four and eight meters that way. But... If I wanted, you know, 10 meters, well, I've got this cap at the end. I can't really 
fix that. Um, so it, it kind of makes it a problem when I want to, you know, have a little bit longer because I really wanted to have that structure go all the way down, but it, it, it looks okay. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. It's not what I wanted it to be. Um, it is like half the video though, <laughs> so I should talk about it. Um, but anyway, it, it worked. Um, yeah, so now just jumping over right into, um, finishing up the doll sheep exhibit here a uh, little bit of a rough cut there but really it was just kind of more fiddling with that bridge and not quite getting it the way I wanted it to so really we're just kind of finishing up the uh, stream bed here or I guess the river bed um, trying to get it so that the uh, <clears throat> The enclosure looks complete, especially up here in the front where we, we didn't really get to last episode. Uh, so I'm just kind of making a smooth, rocky looking uh, riverbed here, you know, where it looks like the water comes rushing down the mountain from where the timber wolves are, and then it kind of comes around this curve and widens out and slows down. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give it that look, but it also kind of make it look like it's still kind of carved out and eating out this uh, this landscape too, but then it just kind of hit a large, flat rock, you know, under, underneath the soil here, and that's kind of why it's spread out kind of wide through here. So again, just kind of a lot of flat rocks, making this kind of very shallow. I didn't really want a whole lot of areas where the uh, sheep had to swim, you know, that they could just, in theory, walk from point A to point B and not have to swim across. I mean, not that I really expect them to get that close up to the glass anyway, since there's really not a whole lot for them. But if they wanted to kind of wade out into the water, they had the opportunity to do that and not, um, not have to go swimming. This episode is really a lot shorter. Um, I tried to throw down the the path there. Um, then I realized, Chris, you're a fool. That's water. <laughs> like that's real water, not not the um, uh, was it the, the special effect of water, where you can actually throw the little gravel path down and, and have kind of a pebbly beach look, which is really kind of what I wanted. I, I did want more smaller rocks, pebbly, you know, stream bed, but alas, we don't have that, <laughs> that texture in the game anywhere other than the, the paths. Um, oh well, I, I still think this kind of conveys the idea, especially when I delete some of the rocks here towards the, uh, the shoreline, and then kind of paint it over to give the feeling that this is more of a uh, you know, like shallower, full of pebbles. You know, this is where the water is not moving as fast, so it's depositing a lot more. You know, this is where stuff gets deposited, essentially. You know, it's not being kind of pushed out. Those smaller uh, pieces of rock are not, you know, just getting washed away. This is where they get washed too, um, if, if that makes sense. <clears throat> So here we kind of punch out the hard shelter. Uh, we just kind of make a little cave uh, by just kind of knocking out some of the uh, horizontal rocks. You know, still kind of following where we have our striation. We didn't really add anything. We're gonna add some rocks in here, just of course to give it texture. But on the outside, you know, make it look like you know maybe there was a. A uh, softer piece of rock in here that you know eroded a lot faster, and then created this cave structure.
So yeah, just kind of turning some rocks on their sides here, just kind of giving a little bit of texture. I'm not going to go into crazy detail in here because you're really not going to see this um, anywhere else than than right here. Um, but I did kind of want to give it a finished look, uh, not just the smoothed out terrain because it doesn't have the same texture like all these little nooks and crannies that the uh, rocks do. Yeah, and then uh, just making sure that the sheep can actually get in here. Uh, I'm going to drop down a little bit more foliage to kind of hide this entrance, but uh, I wanted to make sure that the sheep could fact get into their shelter and that I had not just built all that for for show <laughs> uh, yeah just kind of dropping these trees around again to kind of hide it make sure that the animals can still get in there but I didn't want it to be a kind of a visible spot from um, from the ground here Drop down a few more coolers because the front of this exhibit here is um, outside their temperature range. Um, another kind of rough cut there. I think this episode, yeah, this episode is the same time my wife started playing the game as well. So I think I was helping her out and um, trying to do this build video at the same time. So there was a lot of kind of awkward pauses thrown in here and there. So uh, just kind of ended up with these rough cuts. But, but anyway, this is, this is kind of what the final look of the exhibits turning into. Um, we did have a lot more coverage than what we needed, so I did kind of try to fix that a little bit. I also moved some of these willows off the, um, off the rocks and actually kind of putting them where they would grow. You know, a willow's going to grow by water, um, or at least where there's frequent water um, access for them. Anyway, getting close to the end of the video here. Uh, just kind of a short video to wrap things up. So, close out with some cinematics. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.